this is Arathus, and welcome to today's stream, which almost wasn't going to be Inquisitor Martyr, because the whole, for about the last three hours or so, I've been working to actually get this damn game working. It would not launch, it wouldn't, there were so many problems, but regardless, it's finally working. So we can finally purge some damn heretics and see what changes the devs have made for the beta. So let's get into this. Name Arathus, yes. Psyker, if you please. There's the warp, Psyker, power, yeah, yeah, whatever. Where's my... None of this is different. Oh, well, that's different. That dude looks quite a bit cool. The models are much better than they used to be. Uh, no, I don't like that combination. That is cool. Bolt, pistol, and force. I'm going to go with Imperianist. That's what we played as before. And I would very much like to have all my fire spells back. So, I'm going go with this dude. Even though this one is badass, I'm going with the Imperialist. I do like the new armor style and everything, so let's use that. Also, why the bloody hell did things not change on Twitch? I could swear to God that I told Twitch to change the game to Inquisitor Martyr. And for whatever it's saying, it's saying we're purging the heretics in Conan Exiles. That is not actually the stream. One moment while I change that. No, it is updated. Okay, whatever. It's just freaking out. Okay. Sorry about that, Stahar. On my screen, it shows the title I updated it to, but saying I'm playing Conan Exiles. But then again, I am using the Twitch app rather than the Twitch website, so... Yeah, maybe that's the issue. It's just kind of throwing me off every time I look over there and it's like, Hey, purge the heretics in Conan Exiles. <laughs> Alright. Let's get to it. Morning, Hollow. How's it going? Man, I cannot get over how much better this game looks. Holy crap. At least the designs on the armor for this dude kind of makes me want to. We're not going to play as one of these right now. But it kind of... Ooh. Shit, I kind of want to see what these dudes look like. More detail on the armor. I mean, the overall design hasn't changed. I didn't expect it to, but a lot more detail on the armor. Holy crap. Either way, I'm not creating another one of those. I'm sticking with the Psyker for now. Let's do this. It is the 41st millennium, and there is no peace amongst the stars ever. The Imperium of Man is besieged from all sides by the Xenos races, and it is slowly rotting away from the inside, tainted by the Chaos Gods. Inquisitors are autonomous, powerful agents who wage a great and secret war for mankind. They fight in the shadows, and nothing is beyond their authority, which, let's be honest, is a bit of a problem. They are the judges and the executioners, and are a bit too eager on the executioner part, but again, we gotta look past Inquisitor's that. Log. Classified report for later transmission. I am closing on the source of the inquisitorial distress signal I was assigned to investigate. It has an ancient encryption used by the Holy Orders. Does it now? It's authentic, but extremely old. The intensity of the Caligari warp searches is beyond anything I've experienced. There were many delays during the journey. But the coordinates I received from the Caligari Conclave finally led me to this desolate system. The signal is coming from a battered fortress monastery. It got through the warp surges with considerable loss of data, this and my astropad has been unable to decipher it. I will personally investigate the source of this mysterious signal. Again, the Inquisitor, this is your captain speaking. I'm still trying to hail the monastery, but I get no response. The hull looks intact, though. I think it was simply abandoned a very long time ago. Then what do you expect to find over there? Death. Something that once belonged to the Inquisition. And lots of empty halls. <laughs> you Sounds wish. exciting. I've instructed your pilots to land on the hangar deck. Stand by and wait for my signal. I mean, you gotta give the Imperium 
credit. Their shit can sit around for tens of thousands of years. Inquisitor, the automatic defense system has been activated. The turrets are attacking you. Do you... Yeah, their stuff can sit there for tens of thousands of years and still be working. Like, as soon as they're recovered, it's like, oh yeah, no, no, it's fine. Can't fault their quality. And durability. And no, Hollow, as far as I'm aware, there are no Gene Stealers or Tyranid in the game. But then again, I don't know what they've added. I remember the deafening roar of the turret. Okay, not going to be reading that, apparently. <laughs> Captain, do you copy? Captain Van Winter, can you hear me? No, no, she cannot. Strange. Box communication is jammed. And I can't use my teleporter device. Something must be disturbing my signal. I will record everything in my audio log in case I don't return. Sue. Inquisitorial log. New entry. While attempting to dock in the hangar of an unknown fortress monastery, my transport took heavy fire. I suspect that the automatic weapon systems were activated, but I don't yet know why. The transport has been destroyed, along with my equipment. My pilot is dead. I will pray for him later. But probably not. I'll probably forget all about it. Aw, oh, man. Give me a second. Controls. I. Really. Not planning on using the assassin, so I really don't care about the dodging so i'd rather use wasd for this and just not even care about the assassins dodging okay there we go that's better movement seems a bit more fluid than it did in the early access period the last time we played ah this creepy thing is still here though interesting Mindless servitors were created for menial tasks, but having a flesh drone just for operating the door seems excessive. Welcome to the Imperium. Open the door. Everything in the Imperium is excessive. Don't act like that's new. New tutorial. I don't care. I just click on this. That's how you start shit. <laughs> ah, an ancient cogitator. Let's see if the tech prayers still hold. It might have information. It does, and you place. won't like it. Uh, warning, inadequate data collected. Okay. Current status, the possession of the Holy Orders of the Inquisition, invocations of blessed recalibration. Yeah, nothing. Just a bunch of stuff. Well, just as I suspected. A bunch of binary of and stuff. Well, at least I found some interesting diagnostics. I should check all the cogitators on the ship for other details. Okay. I mean, if we find them... New log entry. Bodies everywhere. The yes. putrid stench of death. Horrible wounds still ooze blood. Damn, that dude has what no skin on his head anymore. Stalks these halls, I wonder. Uh, probably not just one. The fuck? All right, pick up the four staff. What have we got here? A weapon. Well, the Emperor does protect his loyal subjects. How is it that you did not have a weapon on you to begin with? I mean, I know your ship got shot down, but you should have something strapped to you. Jesus. This is 40k. Hey, dude. A manifestation of chaos. Well, let's cleanse your taint from here. Yeah, no, I'll kill the ugly bastard. That's fine. Not mean to use that one. Burn him down. Mm. Feel the contagion of chaos seeping into the walls. I taste the despair in the air. This illness must be purged before it's too late. I think I want to re-align these, but I'm not too worried about it right this second. Ooh, there's my boy. There's my weapon. There it is. Ah, 
That's what I was waiting for. <laughs> yes. Moving right along. Heretics. Come out and play. No? New log entry. I have found a room tainted by the filth of chaos. There is also a tech priest maintenance shrine with a functioning cogitator. It should contain information on how I could turn off the box jammer. Aha, uh -huh. that problem's still here, though. Security. The martyr opened fire on an approaching rogue trader vessel, causing considerable damage and loss of life. Teleportarium signals are regularly jammed. After thorough investigation question, I can safely claim that no personnel were involved in the incident. Cool. I found a maintenance request. There's an emergency cogitator nearby where I could turn off the jamming signals. Yeah, so it seems like that issue is still here. It's been in the game for a while. Where random line, like the game is like they skipped over recording voice lines or the game's just not playing voice lines. So, yeah. Open the door. It is in the walls now. Everywhere. Taint. In the machines. Oh, mighty Emperor. What foul abomination is I this? I mean, you don't have to go that far. It's a malfunctioning computer for now. Jesus, dude. Mindless if... servitor sputtering gibberish. I smell corruption. Very exciting. Mind the door, please. I mean, come on now, too. You, you, you turned him into an abomination. Let's not call it an abomination now. You made it. Well, the Mechanicus made it, but still... Hey! I love this weapon. Oh, was that line... Ah. Yeah, no, I've had... You know, to be fair, I don't know if, it, if the Crusader had that problem either, because it's been a long time since I played this mission as a Crusader. But yeah, I do remember that being an issue the last time I played as the Psyker through the opening missions. Is yeah, that voice line right there was missing as well. Finally, that's the I mean, it doesn't bother me. The jammer. Game's not actually released. If it's still an issue in the final game, then somebody dropped I the ball. Turn but off the teleportation jammer. But the for now, it's not an issue. Now. Captain Van Winter, can you hear me? Inquisitor, finally. I thought we'd lost you. It would have been quite convenient for you, I suppose. <laughs> Trust me, I'm on your side. I'm not saying I don't want my ship back, but who would clear my name if you died in battle? I mean, Your sure. loyalty is quite <laughs> admirable, Captain. Yeah, they're just randomly missing voice lines periodically, and that's one that I had last time I played as a Psyker. So like I said, yeah, and like you were mentioning, Stahar, it's either a glitch or they might not have those lines recorded yet. Not sure. Regardless, move on to the next mission. We have Xenos, well not Xenos, demons to purge, and heretics. Come on. I made it out of the hangar, where I found evidence of a serious chaos infestation. I need to investigate this further. Yes, you do. Let's do it. Our augurs have picked up a Vox signal not far from your location. It is transmitting on an Imperial channel. It could be important. Yeah, it's I'm really on my not. way there. <laughs> We're just going to go rescue Sergeant Useless. And boom. Alright, kill him. Also, give me the weapon I want, damn it. Keep randomly changing my weapon and loadout. That's just rude. That is a lot of blood. I, the Emperor. And other nonsense. What have you found down there, Inquisitor? Some disgusting a shit. Vile display Be glad you're not here. Madness. A sacrifice to the dark gods and their acolytes prowling these decks. In other words, there's something on that ship that requires human sacrifice. Nah. Wonderful. We can we can handle standing in the fire. But yeah, I probably shouldn't do that. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, I know. That's, I know, it's just... <laughs> I'm having that one glitch still, too, that's annoying me. Where the tab button doesn't work. That's the only reason I'm complaining about the... You know, the wand and the staff, is that glitch is still here. And apparently, it's because this right here. Their chat system is still broken <laughs> and you have to apparently when you have that issue from what i discovered on you know on the forums it's basically you just have to open up your chat thing and immediately close it again because for whatever reason even if your chat isn't open it is cycling through all the chat windows every time you hit tab Suffer my pain. i don't think they care about your pain dude just just a thought Ooh, a frag grenade even though I'm not going to be using them for very long. A crude long. tool of mindless destruction. I'm sure it'll be useful on this ship. Yeah, it's kind of a description of the Imperium as a whole. Crude tool of mindless destruction, but hey. <laughs> Personal, uh, let's see, ultra high and growing for the threat assessment. The machine spirit of the martyr shows every sign of intellectual instability. Personal note, the machine spirit is slowly becoming insane and starting to override the defense system, destroying some possibly harmless void craft trying to land on the deck. We must act before it sheds more blood. I don't need to remind you of the fateful consequences if such information becomes open knowledge, if all must remain confidential. I submit this invocation in the name of the Omnissiah to the wisdom of my trusted Hierophant. <laughs> I mean, is there really much of a difference between the two in 40k? Just saying, Stahor. A proper welcome <laughs> committee at last. That grenade could be useful now. I mean, hell, one of the big, the main difference between orcs and humans in terms of destruction in 40k is essentially hygiene. At least that's how it feels sometimes. Yeah, nope, I don't care about your emplacements. They don't do a damn thing. I do. Uh huh. What you doing over there? Oh, you want. Okay, fine. I have a grenade right here. And enjoy Molten Beam. For the Emperor. Same to the commander. He just healed himself again. That's some bitch. I'll throw another grenade. I have him. This commander is tough. A worthy enemy to blast. Nah. He'll be down shortly. Burn him down. Molten beam a hole right through his chest. Die, heretic! Yes, the heretic has died. Always fun to just mess with these for a minute. <laughs> Again, too bad it's not actually useful at the moment. Alright. So that's the way we need to go, is the other way, so we're just gonna go this way. Another cogitator. Sure, sure. Corruptive code in flux. I hope you're reading this. The safest way for us to communicate. If they find out what we are planning, they'll execute us. Hide your messages in the maintenance sermons and make them look like simple devotional notes. We need to plan our next step. There are huge problems on the research decks. The Red Sanctum has been quarantined. I've received your message. By the Emperor, this is bad. So, same here, down here. Nobody knows where the martyr is headed, and with Uther holed up in the Sanctum and his seconds in charge, Plotting against him, I have no idea where to turn. Get off the ship. Uther will be our... Well, I mean, I don't know where you can go, honestly. Uther will be our death. Think about it. He promised us immortality and glory for the Imperium. And now we have what? Those things in the dark zone. We must get out of here immediately. Or shall we join the others? Okay. Rule of thumb in the 40k universe. Regardless of what loyal stuff the dudes may be spouting, if a dude offers you immortality not gonna be something that's not exactly a trustworthy individual. Chaos is going to be involved. Hey, look at that. <laughs> Some nasty chaos shit up in here. And yeah, no, seriously, Hollow, you see all this you get on this ship and you see all this crap, yeah, it's time to find an escape pod and get the hell up out of here. Enjoy. 
enjoy my explosions. I'm gonna. This right here would be the time where you decide it's time to run. I found the body of a fallen exactly. adept as a star. You just leave. What? Did you just say that there was a dead space marine down there? Uh huh. He must have been a member of that unlucky Imperial reconnaissance team I found. Allow me to clarify that. You only found pieces of them. So it'll be just you against something that tore apart one of the mightiest champions of the Imperium. Essentially. Don't jump to any conclusions just yet, Captain. It could easily be more <laughs> than one. Creature. I still love that line. It's like, no, nah, it could be more than one. I mean. Look at this thing. I remember that. Character name is Arathus. Actually, Horus. And it should make you very happy. I've already stood in some fire just for you, Horus. <laughs> oh. For the Emperor! I love fighting these little guys with an explosive weapon. It's hilarious. <laughs> uh, so, Horus, did you manage to get the game up and running? Give it a shot. I know you were having some problems with it yesterday. I had my spare share problems with it today getting the game started so I could actually stream much less play ooh trapters are actually stuff in here there is actually stuff in here excellent always looking for loot okay up through here. All right, another corpse. Team Sigma, this is Chaos Thorn speaking. Team You've Sigma, got a new model. In. I'm afraid Team Sigma won't be responding anytime soon. What? Who are you, and what are you doing there? Taking a stroll on the decks by the Emperor? Mind your manners. <laughs> I'm an Inquisitor, and I don't tolerate an Inquisitor. About bloody time. I thought you looks weird. Had followed Lord Klosterheim into the dark zone. Listen, we're under heavy attack in the control room, so I'd appreciate it if you could join us while we deliver the Emperor's will until our most triumphant death. Thorn out. Uh huh. You know, after seeing. New log entry. I established connection with someone from an uh -huh. Imperial expedition on the ship, but he is clearly confusing me with someone else. Probably. Inquisitors always rob graves. <laughs> they don't care. They're not held to the same standard as everybody else. It's probably why so many Inquisitors get on the bad side of the Necrons and then die. <laughs> um, now I'm going to say, after seeing the new model for Caius Thorn, I'm going to call him Igor from now on. Because it seriously looks like somebody put Igor in a suit of power armor. <laughs> he is a very odd looking marine. Alright. Ooh, next level. Give me my shit. And I'm very glad that they simplified the whole experience system. Psychic Barrage. Cast 12 Psyker spells within 10 seconds. Psyker only. Well, no shit. It'd be a hell of a trick to see the Assassin or the Crusader cast 12 Psyker spells in 10 seconds. Huh. That's odd, Horus. Uh, I'll try to... Well, I'll see what's going on. Let's see. Psychic Escalation. Let's go over here. Uh, inventory. First and foremost, uh, can I just, there we go. Give me this pyrokinetic staff. I don't mind having two different staffs, but I want the pyrokinetic to be the default. 
Damage against demons, physical damage, meh. Although, honestly, both of these are likely to be better than what I have. Okay. Eye implant. Purity seal is already an upgrade. Main implant's an upgrade. Okay, cool. Everything's gonna be an upgrade right now. Although I am gonna take this book instead. Skills. Now here's the thing. I need to remember what my upgrades were. Although to be fair, they're probably far, far, damn, far different. Well, that's the thing is, I uh, most of my signums are not actually useful at the moment. That's why I just put the two upgraded ones. Oh, I guess I do have a heat dam, a heat damage one. Okay. And this one can just chill over here. And I guess anything is better than nothing over here, so let's put that one. Okay. Back to skills. Exploit weakness. That might be the case, Horus. I know that... You know, I know that some... Ah, that used to be the case, I think. Alright. Suppression stimulus. Deny the warp. Not ready to go down area effect yet. We don't have those spells. Let's see. See if I can remember the names of any of these abilities. I mean, I guess we're going to go down this route because I do not remember any of this other. I, exploit weakness is not bad. So... Yeah, I mean, area effect would help with the pyro staff, that's true. But for now, I feel like I want to go down psychic combat. And exploit weakness, I always remember enjoying that. Oh, psychic debuffs. I'll take a look at that. Phase through. Armor piercing, yeah. Ah, yes, yeah, the vulnerability stuff. Hmm. Let's see. Phase through is pretty cool. Vulnerability. Hmm. Maybe. I don't know what I want to spend it on yet, so I might actually pass on that for now. See what other missions we... Oh, I also have... Can I already collect... Hmm. No, not yet. Okay, cool. Into the mission. Let's blow some shit up, shall we? Since I don't know what kind of system is in place for... It's gone again. Another wave of filth is on its way to face uh -huh. me in a glorious carnage. Sure, Igor. I want your help as soon as possible. Careful, Thorn. I'll see what that I can do. That was dangerously close to insolence, and you are definitely confusing me with someone else. You are an Inquisitor, which is enough for me right now. The whole deck is swarming with the local mongrel tribes, and they've sent their champions Perish. to rally the troops. Help. I need you to eliminate these creatures. It will slow down the tribes. There we go. Yeah, I'll look into doing that. It's just like I was saying earlier, I since I don't know what kind of system there might be for respecking, I you know I'm gonna be a little bit careful with my. Perk so points. you're heading to the control room to disable the jammer. That's the plan. Yes. And who is this Caius Thorn exactly? Igor, what a character. Witness I have no the idea. glory it of the Emperor. Of his mysterious expedition. If there is an expedition, they might be trapped in that monastery just like you. Eh. Why do you think so? I made a scan. That giant wreckage looks completely dead from here. No sign of any other voidcraft in the vicinity. Come on, blow this shit up. Oh, hey, we can do this. Uh, oh, shit. Get out of the crap. Get out of the crap. 
Repent. <laughs> Repent, huh? I don't think that's gonna work. You know, just saying. I don't think they care. You are, these are guys? guilty! God damn it. Enough of your little poison crap. I am more concerned with these guys. Who than... are you there we to go. stand against me? I've eliminated me. the first tribal champion. Oh, what's I wonder if these Mongol tribes are the descendants of the original inhabitants. I guess I'll know more soon. And there's some stuff over here. Ah, good to know. Thank you for that, Star. Or there's a consumable for respecting. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. I mean, to be fair, we're only going to be able to play this character for what? About maybe two weeks? A little less? Before, well, yeah, a little less. About a week and a half. Before everything gets wiped again. So, eh. Just went full circle. Here you go this way. But yeah, I will experiment with the build Stahor that we had in the alpha just because I would very much like to see if they nerfed our if they nerfed our dude at all. And even though I don't need it, I'm just picking this crap up for you know, any of their little achievements. Witness the glory of the Emperor. Sure. Not sure there's much glory to be had right here, but okay. Burn him down. Hey man, his little banner. What, you don't like the you don't like Molten Beam? I brought it along just for you guys. And we're gonna get rid of this. And this. Sonia, how are you faring, Inquisitor? I'm doing just it's fine. That I'm alone. I'd say I'm making adequate progress. Alone? Where's the rest of your detachment? There are Under some smoldering wreckage. Well, that's unlucky. But that's all the more demons for us to kill. Let us rejoice in the furious challenge. Thorn out. Igor's very eager. Nope. Fuck you, dude. And we're just gonna melt him down real quick. I am so glad Molten Beam still works. Take the minute. Yeah, we'll open both chests. Again, don't need the supplies, but eh. for the emperor. Hey guys, I'm just gonna walk through you for a minute. Let you burn right alongside me. Not a big deal. Damn plague ogren. And dead. You are guilty. The filth of chaos is retreated from my door. Regrouping, I'd say. I take it you killed the tribal champions. I killed some. Yes, I purged the place. How ambitious. I like that. But believe me, there is still much work to be done. You'll find Naturally. a desecrated shrine next door that leads to the control room. Go there. Igor likes to give orders. Here it looks like. Kind of makes me wonder if the dude's gonna be like all hunched over and shit when we see him now. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure, unless they change the story, that will not be the case. <laughs> Unless they change stuff from Alpha, I don't think Igor's gonna end up being our new boss. I mean, god damn it. I mean, we don't exactly. We're an Inquisitor, we don't exactly. Okay. I've reached the end of this sub deck. Good. There is the exit. Some of my men will meet you on the other side. 
but plenty of them have been captured. I'll need your help to set them free. Okay, I'll give it a shot. But yeah, like I was saying, we're an Inquisitor. We don't take orders from Space Marines, which is fair because there are a lot of Space Marines that don't take orders from us. A couple chapters come to mind. A couple angry, angry chapters come to mind. Uh, not skills. Let me look in the inventory. Nothing really new. Yeah, I could take the auto pistol, but why? That happened again. That happened in the alpha as well. Our, our weapon resets. I had a better staff, a green staff, in this slot. And it disappeared and gave me the basic one. And reset which you know slot it goes into. That's annoying. But I had this multiple times in the alpha, so eh. Oh, was it resolved by restarting the game? Okay, cool. Eh, it's not, a, again, it's one of those things that's not really a huge deal. The heretics have withdrawn, but more are on the way. I need to get reinforcements. I know that some of the soldiers from the expedition are alive, but the feral tribe keeps them captive. I must free them. Calm before the storm. Take advantage of the respite before the wretches return. At least, I can send you some reinforcements. The hostiles are keeping some of my scouts caged up in the desecrated sanctum. Free the guardsmen, and bring them to the control room. Sure thing, Igor. Reporting for duty, Inquisitor. Ready to fight! Alright. So, yeah, just gotta go that way. Well, anyway, really. Except that way. <laughs> this one, it shows something behind the door, but I'm pretty sure that door doesn't open either. Alright, this way. Uh-huh. That was most remarkable. Uh, new log entry. This sanctum gives me the shivers. The iconography is clearly imperial in yeah, origin. It looks cool. And it points to an ancient sect. Uh... But the details of these statues look strange. To well, let's stop. Let's stop enjoying the artwork. We got shit to do. Charge! Fight Charge! fire with fire. So, what do we think? The feral tribes are keeping the Ready to fight. the scouts as let's see sacrifices, recruits, or food. I can see all of those being a valid uh, approach. Now you are Die. gone. Die. Another body. I need to modify my early estimate of the age of this magnificent ship. The pre-Thorian symbolism and the content of the prayer book uh, indicates ancient heritage sometime between the 35th and 36th millennium. The potential connection to the Age of Apostasy indicates fascinating prospects. I must admit that some of our discoveries are unique, almost radical in nature, especially the piece directly connected to Uther Tiberius and his sect. The adornments and other elements are clearly imperial in origin on the ship, but the details, like the winged statues, all suggest a cult, a cult that used to be imperial, but which have been lost or subsequently purged from the archives. And you are, you are right, Hollow, I did forget one reason they might be keeping them for breeding stock that but it is a very disturbing reason <laughs> the techno archaeologist was baffled by the first radium carbon results this may be a rather bold statement since he lacks facial features emotions and soul but he looked almost shocked damn his inconclusive results he tried to argue about the age of this emperor forsaken derelict but i'm certain about my analysis and a bit troubled the mural about the scarlet apotheosis and the imperium beyond was unsettling to say the least. The angel of death growing more grim with each passing hour. May the emperor have mercy upon our souls. Well, that, Ready to that fight. that's new. I don't remember any of that from the last time I played. I am so yeah, the they're fleshing things frame. out. <laughs> that is very true, Hollow. 
No less disturbing, but very true. Uh, guys, maybe don't rush the dude with the big-ass axe. Maybe step back and shoot him. Looks like they got a bit of a damage buff. In the past, they never even compared to the type of damage we could do. Kill the heretic! Hey, 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 leave him alone. I will burn you all to death. I love, again, the ridiculous scale of 40k. <laughs> the stuff like that. Oh yeah, a ship about this size would have a crew of about 130,000. It's like... Jesus. <laughs> yeah, I know I'm going well away from the scouts. I'll go get them real quick. Let's free the prisoners. <laughs> With the crew, with the group we've already got, we've already cleared out a fair amount of the threats we'll face afterwards. <laughs> we don't have much time, Inquisitor. Hurry up and take as many guardsmen with you as you can. Yes, yes, chill, Igor. I'm on it. For the Emperor. I'll just get right up in their faces. This will work too. <laughs> now you are gone. For the Emperor. How goes it? Let's take out the big dude. Look around. For the Emperor. Just kill the commander. I don't care about the turret. God damn it. Die, you asshole. Die, Dude, I really don't like that phrase. <laughs> Again, still sounds... Still sounds incredibly creepy. You know, when our sergeant yells out, take it like a man, guardsman. At least they changed the voice, because this one isn't too bad. But there is one particular voice from the Alpha where when he said that, it it creeped you the hell out. It was just a... Ugh. I mean, I guess, once again, yes, this ship would have a massive crew. But then again, the ship itself is huge. It's not like they're all crammed into a tiny space. We are talking a castle, uh, not a castle, a ship the size of a friggin' city. So, yeah. yeah. I've got this dude if you guys will take out his ship. Thank you. Alright. The humans are banging their war drums, calling up the filth of chaos from the caverns of the ship. If you want to know what a real battle looks like, I suggest you join me as soon as you can. Eh. I mean, I'll get there when I get there. I mean, honestly, with the new artwork on Thorn's face and everything, ah. I'm not gonna, I don't think I'll be able to resist laughing my ass off if he starts calling me master with the lisp. Hell, even if he just uses the phrase, I'm... Yeah. <laughs> I believe that's the end of the level, because I, I murdered everything already. Our augers are starting to pick up huge waves of hostiles approaching your position. Can you hold them off on your own? Can you help me? You are addressing a servant of the Imperium who must be watchful all the time, lest corruption consumes his soul. I'm quite... 
resilient. So what is your plan? Yes. Kill them all. Yes, the power we draw upon takes so many shapes and forms. Hmm. A touch of righteous violence, maybe. Or perhaps something more refined. I think I'll improvise. I'll have the transport ship ready, <laughs> just in case. I think it's hilarious. She's like, can you handle it on your own? You can't reach me. I kind of have to, don't I? All right. Loot. I mean, it's all right. Deal 100,000 points of heat damage. I already dealt 100,000 points of heat damage. Oh, that didn't take long. Ooh. Hmm. We have just the one point to spend. Maybe I'll put it into resilience for now. All right, Madness Incarnated. That sounds like such a lovely experience, doesn't it? I've reached the control room, but now I must survive the coming onslaught of the feral heretics and their champions. I must defend the control room until we can disable the teleport jammer. I thought I was already in there with them, but okay, we're making our way. I'm here, Igor. Welcome to the Martyr, Inquisitor. Not exactly the army I had imagined, but reinforcements at last. So you do realize... <laughs> he does kind of sound like Igor now that I think expedition? about it. I do, and I regret the confusion. We were not expecting any guests on this Emperor Forsaken Wreck. And first I thought that you must belong to Klosterheim's retinue. That fool brought a whole army of busybodies and interrogators with him. You must tell me everything about this man, his expedition, and the martyr. But first I'll disable the teleport jammer. The cogitator that overrides the jammer is two hallways away, and the whole control deck is swarming with feral tribes. Why do you think I'm stuck in this hole? lazy. They're keeping us pinned down in here. Time to turn the tide together, Sergeant. Sure, sure. At your command. Okay. I absolutely do not remember how to give these commands. Okay, hold down the F key. Gotcha. No? Okay. Die. Uh, I guess I'll just help him blow shit up. That didn't work. I mean, I'm pretty damn good at blowing up demons, though. So as long as you guys shoot, we have a problem. Now is not a good time. Well, that worked. Wave completed. Well then, that was a pleasant warm-up, okay. wasn't it? But in Can you me again? I'm sure they will drag their filthy god here to help them out. Their what? We interrogated some of these tribesmen. They are all descendants of the original crew. Anyway, during centuries of drifting through the void, one of their generations forgot about our holy emperor and found new things to They just work. happened to be chilling on and the ship. What would this god be? Madness incarnated, they call it. It could be anything. If you ask me, but nothing good. Ready to fight! Yeah. Right. There we go. Put the minefield up. There's shit over here. I'm gonna come look at the computer, guys. You keep them busy. Let's take a look at this cogitator. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm sure they'll wait. After the rites of diagnostics and reciting the necessary hymns to placate its mood, I prayed to the machine spirit and humbly asked it to confide in me about the causes of the recurring system failures. Why the automatic defense system is being martyred. listen to me. The monastery is... I'm in the middle of something. Later. Yeah, seriously, lady. Uh, machine spirit's pissed, basically. Well, it's not pissed, it's just corrupt. And why the martyr initiated conflicts with a non-hostile vessel of an explorator fleet. Machine spirit of the martyr denies cooperation, citing the sacred order 947.A, as issued by our spiritual leader, the late Uther Tiberius. No executable directive exists under this name. Invoking the conclave of the imminent system purge. The ship's not going to like that. Are disturbing. This martyr has a mind of its own. 
at your command. Hey guys. Give me a second. You guys, fuck off. Oh hey. Kill the heritage. Igor's actually doing shit. <laughs> I got this. Oh. So, dude. How about I put this right here? And let me clear this shit out because our awesome space marine ally isn't really doing much. He's getting our people killed is what's going on. So I'm just going to put a minefield here. I said I'm going to put a minefield here. I'm going to take another turn. Oh, the thundering blast of weapons. Uh -huh. I wish my brothers were here to hear this canticle of death. Talking about brothers, which chapter do you belong to? I'm not familiar with He's not going to answer that, dude. I am Sergeant Chaos Thorm of the Stormwatcher Space Marines. Explain. I don't know that chapter. I would be truly disappointed if you did. Our existence is secret, our numbers are few, and our burden is terrible. Didn't we used to we get this information in later, shadows, but rather than right here? We are the sanctioned blades of the Calgary Conclave. Doing what, exactly? Dying gloriously during classified inquisitorial <laughs> missions. Could we talk about this later? I mean, Ready to fight. that's probably right, a good idea, right? Let's talk about it a bit later. Yeah, we lost a whole squad already. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna come this way. Hey, guys. Off with you! Drop. Hey. Off with Thank you. you. Just Don't linger walk in into that. The monastery shows signs of. Not now. Dude, maybe listen. Just gonna throw that out there. Maybe, maybe listen. Another turret. Fire away. Repent. In every direction you guys can. Who's next? You're next. Oh. At your command. I didn't realize the 40k, you know, the Imperial Navy let people have their families on their vessels with them. I imagine only the upper ranking officers, but still. That's interesting. Die, heretic. I mean, I know the holds of like troop transports had like, you know, I know all of the troop transport stuff had like, you know, a black market and hookers and shit like that on the ship with them. So. Come yeah, on, get over there and help. But yeah, the sight, all the Inquisitors, when it comes to listening to the. Yeah, all the psychers. Not all the psychers, sorry. All the inquisitors in this game are kind of assholes when it comes to dealing with their captain. You are truly doing the emperor's work, inquisitor. Keep it up. We've crushed their main forces. Let's move out and disable that jammer. I'm on it. Before their what? Their god arrives? Trust me. It is already close. I wonder what it looks like. After we've disabled the jammer, we must find Lord Klosterheim. Oh, yes. That two-faced hypocrite. I have already lost a battle brother because of him, and then he left me down here to die. But Kill now, the heretic! Move. Come on. Let's do this, Igor. Yeah, I never actually, like I said before, I've never actually looked too much into, like, any of the lore or anything on the Battlefleet Gothic stuff. So yeah, I don't know much about the ships other than, like, the troop transports and the strike cruisers and the space marines. 
So yeah, I thought that the ships were almost exclusively combat vessels with only combat crew on board and everybody else was smuggled on board. Oh, traitorous scum! Take it like a man to your honor and perish you filth! And... There goes Sergeant Useless. Down he went. <laughs> Man, just me or did they take away his, um, did they take away his little howl? Because that Inquisitor, I didn't hear it this time. what's happening down there? Are you all right? I'm great. I've just killed a hellbrute, a twisted mockery of a space marine. Praise the Emperor. I also have an Imperial space marine with grievous wounds, and I want to bring him aboard our ship. Inquisitor, listen to me. The monastery has turned on the warp drives and is ready to leave the star system. Disable the jammer now. Sure. I'm sure that's what you've been trying to tell me this whole time, and I've just been ignoring you. I've disabled the teleport jammer. Uh, at least I hope so. <laughs> I'm very confident there, are you, dude? teleport back before the ship leaves. We don't know where it's headed, and worse, the jelly shields are probably compromised. Warp travel will kill you. Hurry up, you don't want to get stranded over there. Oh, I'm gonna run into all kinds of shit, so... Being trapped on a ship like this with the, uh... Jeller field down, not gonna be a big issue. Now, I hope this animation has been... Fixed. It looks very impressive. Sir, are you alright? I'm fine, Captain. I'm back on your ship, leaving the teleportarium as we speak. That is I need awesome medical looking. assistance down here for the Space Marine. What's happening to the Martyr? It's preparing to enter the warp. I thought it was a derelict. It is a derelict, Captain, which seems to attract the attention of both our allies and enemies. That is the much better is mystery, looking. But it's very much alive. And your mystery ship is gone. What Not happens quite now? Yet. I will notify the Caligari Conclave. Then we will wait and see. Yeah, no, yeah, we, we pretty much fucked over the guardsmen and just left them on the ship. Pretty much just took ourselves and the Space Marine. And people wonder why so many guardsmen turned to chaos. I'm just surprised more, <laughs> more Inquisitors don't um, experience more quote-unquote accidental friendly fire and now to our vessel Naked space marine just in a tube on the deck. Do we not have like a med bay that we could have put his ass in? Inquisitor, my astropath has sent your audio log to the Caligari Conclave as you requested. Let me guess. Another local warp search manifestation swallowed the message whole. No, actually. We have received an official follow up on your report. Well, that must be a mistake. It's the Imperial bureaucracy. I wasn't expecting to hear from them for a few standard years. <laughs> I have no I idea what we found out there, but it must be really important. See for yourself. Inquisitor, we are hereby raising your clearance level. You are henceforth authorized to listen to confidential information without facing immediate excommunication. Your discovery has greatly intrigued the Conclave. You have found a ghost of the past, Inquisitor. The Martyr had strong ties to the Inquisition, and as such, it is very important to us. We all thought that the Fortress Monastery had been destroyed, with the exception of Lord Inquisitor Klosterheim. He dedicated his life to finding the Martyr, only to disappear without a trace. And now you have proof of both the existence of the Martyr and the whereabouts of Lord Klosterheim. We want answers. Continue this investigation, evaluate the data, gather new clues, and find the Martyr. Nah, we're not asking much, just, all, just do all that shit. Hopefully with Lord Klosterheim on board so he can explain his disappearance. We must remind you that this investigation requires absolute secrecy, and it will be your task and your task alone. Gee, thanks for that. Our task is to find a ghost ship in the vast expanses of the Imperium. 
How hard could it be? The Space Marine I rescued was part of the expedition that found the Martyr somehow. If I can interrogate him, I'm sure he can help and us. And you have your answer right there, Hollow. That man is in stasis at the moment. He was torn into pieces. Correct me if I'm wrong, but a warrior of the Adeptus Astartes is not a simple mortal we can treat. Indeed. We need a tech priest with unique skills and knowledge of the genetic material of the Adeptus Astartes. We need a Magos biologist specialist, which could be difficult. Indeed. I come from a long line of rogue traders, Inquisitor. I know the secrets of this sector, and I can tell you where to find the tech priest. As always, so very convenient. The Merciful Agony is a hospital fortress in the Chernobog system. It's also a secret research station of the Adeptus Mechanicus. <laughs> You'll find a Magus Biologus there. Okay, then. Psychic channeling unlocked. Deal 5,000 damage within five seconds. Ugh. <laughs> oh. And frankly, the other reason that, you know, we didn't just rip the gene seed out when the Space Marine went down is, can you imagine, I don't, I don't imagine most people, even an Inquisitor, have the means to remove the gene seed. And even if they did, can you imagine if you fucked up somehow and then tried to explain it to the actual chapter? Be like, hey, I, I tried, but oops. I'm pretty sure even an Inquisitor would very quickly find themselves having a very, very bad day. Alright. I like how she said ripped apart. I mean, he hasn't been ripped apart. He's just missing a leg. I mean, the rest of his bits appear to be there. I don't really have any of the psychic powers. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that would be the valid way to approach it. Oh, I do have. Uh, let's do increased effect on this. Increase skill effectiveness or decrease, decrease warp heat. I want that one. And on this one, decrease skill cooldown. I mean, yeah, that would work. Kinda. Just tell him, yeah, it was like that when I found it. I don't know who the fuck messed up on his gene seed. In addition, what gene seed? I didn't see anything. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll do increased effect size on this one. Not that it matters, we don't use Inferno very often. It's not as effective as you would think. All right, we are moving along. Oh, uh, reward. Let's see. Oh, chapter got me. up here click there it is claim reward rank points next level cool cool okay I don't have that one unlocked yet Stahor but I should go unlock it right now uh, psychic channeling Perked unlocked claim cool yeah, I should be able to get... I uh, wouldn't be over here. Armor piercing right there. It's the only one I'm going to spend right now, just because I don't know... Like I said, I'm not sure what path we're going to go down with this one. Okay, Molten Beam. There's phase through. Excellent. And also, shit, not there. Go back. I would much rather this layout. Thank you kindly. That's right click. Well, you know what? I want this to be the right click. Yeah, I can move that. All right. Now we move on. Let's see. The Merciful Agony. I love how much better this game performs now than it did in Alpha. And I like the little... Like, the graphics are a little bit sharper. They put a little bit more Agrippa detail. Theta I can actually how see this person I now. You, Inquisitor? 
I have a space marine on my ship with grievous injuries. I need a Magos Biologus immediately. Your request cannot be granted. I suggest that you seek medical assistance elsewhere. I'm on special assignment? Allow me to clarify. The Magos Biologus with the required skill set is unavailable. Current status. Assigned to priority level research for atonement and gathering of sacred data. Okay, where can I find Our it? brethren have been studying an epidemic on the St. Abelard Relay Station. We lost contact with the station recently. Thank you for cooperation. We'll go find out. They gave up that information so fast. In we go, even though my gear is quite shitty for this, but whatever. <laughs> Yeah, I know. We're just going to leave it on normal. <laughs> Considering how... How much of a difference there is between our gear ranking and this mission. All communication channels are cut off. We are detecting a strong chaos presence. Well, no shit. This place is all fucked up. Let's kill. Inquisitor, the epidemic that spread through the relay station was just the prelude to a full-scale chaos so Why am I not surprised? The board station is in total lockdown until the decontamination teams and the Imperial Guard troops arrive. And that could take time. Years, possibly. Why wait? Maybe corruption has spread too far. Maybe the only solution is to expurgate this place with scorching energies. Shall I? So kill it with fire. Do you really believe that the Magos Biologus you seek is there? Alive? Probably. There are still <laughs> people on the station. Metrodora Thalima is a sacred priest of the Omnissiah. I believe she can take care of herself. There are still people on the station. Well, they did fix a lot of the voice lines because I do remember that one in particular was not... Uh, was not in last time I played as the Psyker. Yeah, so they are working on it. Get off of me, you Witness demonic the bastards. Glory of the Emperor. I do not want anything to do with your Nurgle selves. Your disgusting plague cod can kiss my ass. I don't know, Storm Knight. I have no idea if he's still over leveled, uh, overpowered. I will have to wait and see once I start rebuilding my skills. I'm gonna guess not quite as much, but probably still pretty damn powerful. Hey, look at you guys. Repent. Man, I still do quite a lot of damage. And I still take damage very quickly. If you don't mind me asking, why are you so sure this Caius Thorn could help your investigation? It's over this way. He is a space Nothing. marine, a legendary defender of the Imperium. It makes him the most important member of Klosterheim's retinue. Even if their relationship Whoa. is as strained as it seems, you guys are new. Close to the Lord nice. Him, and he could have knowledge of important details. That is cool. Oh, hey, guys. <laughs> and burn you to death. Fight fire with fire. I am working on it. <laughs> and we're going to die. <laughs> if I don't get up out of there, I'm going to die. I slay in thy name. For now, but you are a psyker. It's only a matter of time before you choose to slay in, let's just say, a different name. Oh, I like the touches they've done in here. The scrolls and the skull. That is cool. Ah, hell yeah. Thank you for that, Storm Knight. 
I am very much looking forward to playing that. Uh, to be fair, the last two expansions of uh, Sanctus Reach kind of had the same thing where, you know, they had one release date set up and, uh, well, the day came and went with no word from the devs until like two or three days later before they're like, oh yeah, um, the game's not actually out for another couple of weeks. So, or days, depending on which expansion. So hopefully it's accurate and Horrors of the Warp does come out tomorrow. Considering despite how a lot of people have comp- Okay, there go some of the, the choppy animations are still here. That's a shame. Choppy animations are not gone. Death. Is a journey. <laughs> That's a fun mission, though. <laughs> Storm Knight. It's one of my favorites, even though it is a bit rough. For the Emperor. Guarding the bridge as the Imperial Guard and Sanctus. Those were the days, right, Hollow? To be fair, though, in those days, if the game was broken on release, it, it stayed broken. Oh, I'm not using my abilities too much right now. I'm just basically blowing them up with my pyrokinetic staff. That's why you're not seeing much warp heat. Repent! I have completed the task you gave me. There is no trace of the martyr anywhere in the logbooks of my ship. This ship is ancient oh. and has traveled everywhere in the sector. And still, nothing. I suspect that explosion reached farther than I thought it would. I wish I had the treasured logbook of my rogue trader clan. It has been in the possession of my family since my ancestor received the warrant of trade. That's a new line. What happened to that? It has disappeared when the Inquisitorial Purge destroyed the clan headquarters. Yeah. That's a shame. My... I'm watching my frame rate, and my frame rate supposedly okay, but the choppy... You know, the choppy animation on the enemies is still there. Hmm... Again, gonna give it a bit of slack because, you know, game's not actually out yet. Also, do I have the auto? Is that still turned on by default? Uh... Ah, there it is. Yeah, go ahead, pick up the loot automatically. I don't mind. And yes, I think you're right. It does look like there is more cleavage on the rogue trader. Last defensive perimeter collapsed. Loss of the base is imminent. Lord Commissar Baron has fallen. I took command of the remaining forces in the librarium as the ranking officer. The astropath quarter is confirmed as lost. I ordered Bravo Squad to retreat with the survivors, but their chances, considering the hostile activity in the void dock, are minimal. As of this moment, Tempestus Garrison St. Abelard has ceased to function as a fighting entity. I shall follow the standard exodus protocol. The Emperor protects. The Engine Seer finally managed to identify the source of the initial chaos. An invasive scrap code debilitated the machine spirit, cut our communication, and destroyed the primary data vault. The secondary data vault is partially salvageable. The Tech Priest managed to online a firewall litany before total data loss. His words, not mine. Uh, according to Lord Commissar Baron, the primary objective of the attack was very specific, to capture the St. Abelard Astropath Choir and block the Chernobog Telepathic Duct. Is there, a con is there a connection to recent outbreaks? Such elaborate tools and coordination are way beyond the capabilities of simple heretic cells. 
This attack may be part of a larger operation. Further investigation is advised. Well, we'll see. <laughs> hey, guys. For the Emperor. The hell? What's one of these chests doing By here? By the Emperor. A demon was bound to the chest. Nope. Yep. Hello, Plague Ridden Guardian. I ain't get out of this shit. Especially before that chest is completely fucked up. I wonder why this chest was so heavily protected. Me too. A main implant. Eh, I mean, it seems like not a big deal. Especially to have a demon bound to the chest, but sure. <laughs> oh. Wait, what? Okay. Okay, that's not working very well. I tried to use Molten Beam there, and that did not work well at all. And you did. <laughs> Even then, my warp heat is not building up too quickly. I grab this. And we shall continue the hunt. Inquisitor, our Argo readings have suddenly spiked to alarming levels. You've reached the center of the chaos infestation. Stay alert. Oh yeah, they definitely touched a lot of things up. Like the animation, like the um, explosive and fire effects are nicer. The detail on the armor is nicer. Uh, honestly, the whole game looks a whole hell of a lot better. I just kind of wish, like I said, the only issue I'm seeing right now that I was hoping was fixed because it was one of the huge complaints people had about this game versus... Um, other action RPGs was the animation being a bit choppy. And I don't blame them. It is still quite choppy by other ARPG standards. Still fun to play, though. Suffer my pain. Uh, get out of that corner. Oh, I've got the I've got the game maxed out. Right, take this dude down. Oh shit! Enough with your poison. This dude's being a bit troublesome. I'll just do this. Hey, dude, I'm gonna stand right here next to you. Hope you don't mind. It's okay. Oh, this is gonna be close. Who Aha! Are you to stand against Aha! Try to find a cogitator that can grant you access to the data vaults. <laughs> I found it right here. This is the central cogitator of the station. If this Magus biologist tried to send a report to her superiors, it must be logged here. This is the central cogitator of the station. Again? <laughs> this is Metrodora... Yeah. Recording, recording my message for astropathic transmission. My work is finished here. I have lost 14 teams to this... Uh, teammates to this fascinating malady, which supplied me with valuable subjects that made the identification of the pathogen possible. The infection is undeniably Empyrean in origin, and research indicates that it must have been transferred to the whatever via one of the incoming cargo vessels. I have narrowed down the possible source to three worlds in the subsector. I will visit all three to locate the source of the epidemic. Reference, yeah. I missed the Magus biologist on the station. I logged the three potential destinations where I could find her. I hope she's worth all this trouble. Uh, can I look around, or... 
Because there was shit down here I didn't look at. No, I guess there's not actual. Yeah, no, I went the way I'm supposed to. Well, there's stuff right there. Let's find out. Yeah, usually not worth it. If we were already over there, it's one thing, but yeah, I'm not going to wander all through the ship. Ooh, eye implant. A purple eye implant. That's always good to see. Kill 250 enemies with medium range, within medium range with a ranged weapon. Yeah, no, I did that. <laughs> Let's take this eye implant. Range damage, crit yeah, okay. And it does a boost to uh, vulnerability effects. I live with that. Hmm. Yeah, we'll take this one. Okay. Purity seal. Yeah. And yeah, let's see about this. Heat damage. Okay. Could. Re hmm. I think I would rather just replace the blue one. Excellent. Let's dive right back in. Search for the Magos Biologus at three possible locations. Back on the hunt. Yeah, no, I know what the star map is. Ah, uh, shit. Do, do, I, do I have to? Oh, I guess I can do the missions. Should probably look at some buying or craft. Well, I can't really craft much of anything right now. But I should probably look at some new gear. Let's go back to the command bridge. Yeah, I actually wouldn't mind uh, doing that because... And I wouldn't actually need the free starter. I actually have played quite a bit of Diablo 3 to compare. And I haven't been playing Path of Exile long. I've only been playing that for about a little... Yeah, here and off and on for the last couple of weeks. Usually not very long sessions, though. Good God, you have a lot more gear on you than you used to. Okay. Let's get rid of all the gray items here. Oh shit, I might as well sell everything now that I think about it. I'm not actually able to do the crafting yet. I don't have the right person on my ship yet. Alright, we need better armor. Is there a sell all button? Well, yeah by category like they did with the salvage. Cool. I'm glad they added that. I like the crochet armor. I always have. I shall take some crochet armor. I apparently can't afford it, so gimme. It's actually a reason to <laughs> Possibly Storm Knight. But yeah, basically, Stahor, I would like to do a comparison video of the three games once Martyr launches. And I have hopes. I still have my fingers crossed that something will be done about the choppy animations. But I am still quite pleased with the... Um, visual quality of everything else the armor the environments the effects it's just those animations still aren't i don't know they still seem not quite up to par compared to a lot of other arpgs now do you have a better weapon for me nope you are not going to convince me to give up my pyrokinetic staff no, thank you. I'm too attached to my fire damage. My explosives. You may not have it. So we shall... So now it's green. Excellent. Travel to the frozen wasteland, please. Honestly, every time I've been looking for this lady, I always find her 
Uh, almost always. No, I actually think always find her on the frozen planet. Yeah, I love that we actually have to pay for the <laughs> gear as well. It's like, do Inquisitors actually pay for anything, or do they just show up and it's like, I want that, and everybody else is like, just scared shitless. It's like, yeah, no, 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 take it. Take whatever you want, dude. Praise the Emperor. No heretics here. I mean, unless your Inquisitor's trying to go undercover, which a lot of them do. I'm not used to having to buy my armor this early in the game, though, just because I usually found... I usually looted a few over the course of missions. Inquisitor, according to the coordinates you found, this area is one of the potential locations where your Magus Biologus could be. And it seems you've also got company. <laughs> yes, Hollow? What's up? <laughs> I do like this effect. They cleaned this area up, too. Very, very nice. <laughs> Inquisitor, we have received a distress call from a rogue trader in orbit. This is new. His transport crew on the ground was attacked by hostiles while moving important supply rates to the local administratum cloisters. They humbly ask you to secure the cargo before the cultists return for the goods. I'll work on it. Yeah, that's new. I don't care about you guys. I'm going to go check out the cargo. And then I'll come back and murder some heretics. This cargo? Yes. Yes, it is. I found the supplies. We'll remove the cargo from Ooh. the area, but it will take some time. The sensors located several cultist troops approaching your location. Get from ready where? to defend the supplies. You have that answer. Hey, dude. Ah. Uh -uh. No, you little bastards. I will rip your mind into shreds. I mean, that seems a bit extreme. Just blow him up. I don't need to fuck with his mind. Come on now. Hmm. Hey, stop shooting at that. Don't be dicks. Come after me. Okay, these are some new looking enemies. I like it. God damn, why is my new... There we go. Unbound Grunt. Yeah, he looks cool. So does he. Yeah, I like the new models too. Orbital Strike, huh? How about I just take a tarantula turret for now and set it right here. I'll take the orbital strike once again. Yeah, don't really need it at the moment, but... I think I'm about to need it, though. Come on, guys. I'm just standing right here. Suffer my pain. I don't know that I want to suffer your pain, dude. Much less the chaos, guys. Come on. Murder everything. Oh, hey, look. For the Emperor. A Psyker. A demonic Psyker. Otherwise known as shit we must purge. 
Recoil, unclean. Oh shit, we about to die, yes. Eat steel. Will you stop? <laughs> Alright. That's enough of that. Man, I hate those little bastards. They are still easy to overlook. I slay in thy name. I mean, it's fine. That's not an issue with the game. That's more an issue with me. Cultist threat exterminated. Oh, I thought there were more waves. Praise the Emperor. We'll take over from here and get them to the rogue trader. You can proceed with your mission, Inquisitor. Hmm. Yeah, no, I am impressed with how far this game has come. Like I said, I do still have issues with the animation. But no, I am very impressed with how much they managed to pull off between the alpha and the beta. <laughs> hey, guys. Tend to use that ability. I mean, it's working. Burn him alive. Dude, I can just sit here and keep this ability going all day. Uh huh. Die, heretic. <laughs> Alone. Ooh, there is a bunch of people here that need killing. No, you are gone. Also, it seems like another change I've noticed. Not a bad one, not a good one. I actually have no opinion on this. But it does sound like the enemies speak a lot uh, less frequently. Captain, Metrodora Thelema is definitely not here. That's quite unfortunate, Inquisitor. At least I've eliminated the local threat. So this whole journey hasn't been a complete waste of my time. We have two other sets of coordinates. Maybe you'll find her on the next world. I guess we're going to the next world, and this place is creepy. Wait. So she was here ex What the fuck? So she was experimenting here. Left a body in a tube, chained down. Okay. Huh. Oh yeah, this is a huge map. Yeah, they have they have up to the they have definitely up to the size of the maps. Which is very nice as well. Yeah, like I said, I'm impressed and quite happy with all the stuff they've done. Ooh, look at all these guys. You are guilty! I mean, is anybody disputing that? I mean, I didn't think they were. I might have the loot, though. That's the kind of stuff you expect to see in a 40k game, right there. I am the 
just a holy leaf. Flame. He's just hobbling his way towards us. Interesting. The fuck? Hey guys. Witness the glory of the Emperor. Gonna murder these guys real quick. Do you have any loot for me? I see none at all. Well, screw you guys too then. <laughs> Make me kill all these people and not give me any damn loot. Hmm. Leveled up though, which is always nice. What you gonna give me for leveling up? Attribute point, unlocked the warp. Rod and Endurance. System 1. Uh, Aethon System, level 1 Influence. Hell yeah. Now here's the thing I'm curious about. Uh, Stahor or anybody else who can answer it. Has anybody noticed if there's more... I mean, I know the game hasn't been out for very long. But has anybody noticed if there's any more... Uh, weapon types or equipment in the game... That was one area I was really hoping would get a... I guess just automatically applied, yeah. That's one area of the game I was really hoping would get a boost. There just didn't seem to be enough. I mean, there was a lot of weapon variety, just not quite enough, in my opinion. For this type of game. For, like, an ARPG. Uh, we are going to Aethon Prime now. Ah. Uh, well, I don't doubt that they're going to. I mean... I think they're well aware that a lot of people play game like ARPGs for... I'm positive they are well aware that a lot of people play ARPGs for the sheer amount of loot whoring that's available. So yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if it's something they're saving for final release or... Uh, what else? For final release or... Even just to like as free expand, well, not expansions, but free DL, well, again, DLC maybe, yeah. Patches. <laughs> well, I don't think I can get away with that. <laughs> this is the second location where Omega's biologists could be. Unfortunately, the area is swarming with hostiles. And I'm not surprised that a Storm Bolter is one of the top requests. I mean, I mean, technically the dude with the, technically the dude with the power armor could handle it. The Crusader. I mean, he handles some serious gear later on. I think he could handle a Storm Bolter. Yeah, I was just hoping for more weapon variety, period. And like I said, I am fully confident that uh, the devs are going to deliver an awesome game in the end. Don't get me wrong. I am the sanctioned flame. I am nitpicking the animations, but one thing that I cannot fault or nitpick about at all is how responsive and active and active the um, devs have been with this game. So, can't fault that in the slightest. So I'm confident they're going to release an awesome game. Uh, it might not live up to its full potential for a while, but then again, that's the case with most games these days, so... Okay, that dude's starting to piss me off. We kill the psychers. Dude! Chill. Just let me burn you alive. There we go. 
I don't know. I haven't really looked at the feedback stuff yet. I spent most of my... Because I didn't have time to play it last night. And then all day today when I was trying to play it, I couldn't even get the game... If I can't the alarm, I'll face some serious resistance. I couldn't get the game working. And it's gone. Now, where was I? I couldn't get the game working, so most of my time was spent in just the tech support forums trying to find a way to fix why the game wasn't launching. So, got it figured out, though. Yeah, I remember there was posts about the animation in Alpha. Uh, the feedback, but I, yeah, I haven't seen anything about about it on the beta yet. I haven't looked at any beta feedback yet. So. Like, to the point where, even, honestly, though, for it being a beta, Die, there weren't really many posts in the tech support forums either. So, apparently, it's a pretty damn stable beta. Okay, I need this dude here. <laughs> oh, is there? Okay. Oh, that's right. I did see something about that in the in the forums as well about the Discord. I just haven't been there. Good God. These damn. Damn, psychers are a problem. Perish, filth. And there they go. They are not a problem anymore. <laughs> Recoil, unclean. Come on, kill him, kill him, before they kill me. There he goes. <laughs> I'm actually not surprised that the um, that the dev community, the community of, for this game, is not very toxic. I've noticed over Repent. the years that the most toxic 40k community is their tabletop community, and even then, it's not the majority. It's just. Sometimes you get unlucky and Die, run into heretic. some really toxic players. I mean, it's like somebody was mentioning yesterday when we were doing the Conan stream. Uh, the com Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Ow! Fuckers, get off of me. Uh, the Deathwing Kill community the is really friendly and not toxic, so... And dead. Okay. That is something I'm noticing too. The this particular map is a lot easier to well this little map seed or whatever the hell you want to call it is a lot easier to navigate than it used to be. Some strange organic outgrowths that generate intense warp activity. You mean the Nurgle hive? Are the creation of. Yeah, tile set, I would say. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Thank you, Starhor. What the hell's back here? Just the shimmering body. Ah, hollow. Have a good night. Everything all right there, Horus? But yeah, this particular this particular tile set and the one and I actually think it is this tile set too. 
with all of the mushrooms and other growths used to be such a bitch to get around. Remarkable. A soul-bound warp creature protects the chest. Most remarkable. Oh. Well, let's see. Let's hope it. Let's hope they fix some of the uh, issues with it then. Demon is a was so important in the chest. I don't know. Let's find out. Gotta say, I'm enjoying that feature too. The fact that you can be on a mission and then. And then new missions will show up in the midst. Or is that again because this map is, as you mentioned, style or handcrafted? Enjoy the pillar of fire that isn't moving. Oh, now it is. Thank you. Trying to get closer? I think I was just too far back. Alright. So is that normal for the game as it progresses, or is that, again, just because of this map, the whole... Ah, okay. By the Emperor, these tech priests and their elusive ways. Do you copy, Captain? The Maker's Biologist is not here. By okay. I'm really sorry, Inquisitor. We'll travel to the last set of coordinates, then. I have a lost fortress monastery to find. I hope she can help my investigation. For her sake. <laughs> now we're seeing the Inquisitor. Seeing standard Inquisitor operating procedure. She better help or else. I'm going to go destroy this hive. But yeah, now this mission is much more interesting than it was before just because of these random missions that have shown up in the middle, like protecting the cargo. Which I really liked that that mission was there. It's a nice change of pace rather than just finding and activating the tech shrines. What? I saw that. Where's that skull? There. Yeah, no, I'm thoroughly enjoying the hell out of this. Ah, it's good to be back. <laughs> in there, loop around. Yeah, I feel like after his initial after the initial culture shock fades, I feel like Conan would fit quite well, fit in quite well in the 40k universe. Conan the Space you? Marine you perhaps. Stand against me. No into our world in this area. Now that I think about it, that would be somewhat horrifying because the dude's already pretty fucking terrifying. Oh, did they? Did they finally make an announcement about that? Is that something? Holy shit! Why are there so many psychers? Repent. Yeah, because I've been waiting on an old Conan movie for a very long time. Mm, a lot of people have, actually. <laughs> I'll have to check that out. Okay, next up. God damn, though, that was a lot of psychers. Yeah, even this emblem and shit has got a lot more detail and... Yeah, even the emblem and the everything has got a lot more detail. Cool. See, I didn't know that, Storm Knight. All I knew is that the original one from the 80s just had that scene 
that you know that everybody talks about where it talks about him eventually having his own kingdom and blah 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 and and then you see an old Conan sitting on a throne okay I think we're good I don't want any of this other gear but yeah I didn't realize it was envisioned as a trilogy all right we have another planet to go check out Tartarus. Lovely. <laughs> Let's visit the awesome world of Tartarus. Well, let's see if she's here. She kind of has to be. <laughs> Teeming with hostiles, yes. These places are always teeming with hostiles. Seems like neither the Inquisition, the Caligari Enclave, the Imperial Navy, or the Imperial Guard are actually doing their damn jobs in this sector. It's a shame. Alright. Charging on ahead. Face some serious resistance. Well, give me a second. Right, and it's gone. Now, where was I? You need to fight off the traitor. Traitors. That's all. God damn it, dude! Stand still. I will rip your mind into shreds. Deactivate all mortars. Oh, okay. I should probably chill somewhere and heal. Just waiting for my health to just come back on its own. Ah, corrupted eradicators. My favorite. Blow up the light. Just, my just, pain. No apparent reason. Just the light was annoying me. There's the thing I dislike. What is it, corrupted disassembler? Yeah. Fuck those dudes. Who are you to stand against me? The Imperial Navy has launched Marauder bombers as a counterattack. They will bomb the entire what? area. Find cover. Hey, hey. Dude, watch yourself. Orbital strike. Well, seeing how many horde creatures are out here, orbital strikes are probably quite necessary. I was going to say it's a bit overkill, but nah, not with this ship floating around. Okay, yeah, I really like this. They don't really seem to be bombing the entire area. They just seem to be bombing where I happen to be walking. Like, hey, there's some which again would make sense. If you see a battlefield and just one thing moving across the battlefield, what are you gonna target? The chest was just a bait. A treacherous trick from Yeah, yeah, I don't care. The Marauder bombers have retreated. You are safe to proceed. Sure, sure. Ogrin. A Bulgrin, in fact, actually. Can we pill kill the big bastard, please? Soon. Heal up. Enough with your bullshit. There we go. Hey. Ooh, 
look at these fortifications. Take out the trap bolter. Kill the heretic. And I'm okay killing the heretic. It seems like a good plan. Dude, why do you keep rushing forward? Just kill the ogre and enforcer. Perish, filth. I actually have no idea why he kept charging forward. Must have been clicking on the ground behind them, but still, it's annoying. You know what? Die, heretic! Yeah, those things need to go. <laughs> and they still do that. Awesome. There's one Bulgren. Teleport beacon in range. Yes, I... Oh, okay, cool. I'll hold F to interact. That is a cool... I've deactivated the first mortar. How do you dare to turn our weapons against us? Just... Oh, can't do anything to that. Oh, I can interact with it. Huh. That's cool. Uh, there still appears to be something over that away. Let's go get it. Yeah, the gunfire does seem to be a lot cleaner, too. You are guilty. <laughs> of? I'd like to hear what he says they're guilty of. Heresy? In this case, desertion. Treason. If you're gonna tell me they're guilty, tell me why, I'm curious. Eventually. Oh shit, no, 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 no. Where's the dude? There he is. No, you will not reactivate that turret. Yeah, it does. The story seems to be more filled out now. Of course they are. Tell them to actually hit their targets this time. Not me, the shit around me. Kill the heretic. Ow, that one actually hurt. You know what? Fuck you guys. I'm gonna send one of these out. Ow. I mean, our Inquisitor's pretty badass. He just survived a direct orbital strike, so, I mean... Well, not orbital strike. From a bomber. Burn him. The Marauder bombers have retreated again. This time, they are leaving the area for good. Are you sure? The next time there's an aerial strike, I want to coordinate first with the Imperial Navy. Alright. Let's shut this thing down. Be kind of cool if we could give it new targets. Second mortar deactivated. That'll teach a lesson to this rabble. <laughs> and straight across. I am enjoying the hell out of this mission. And this map layout. Just in general. Hello, guys. I 
I slay in thy name. Nah, that's not my teleport beacon, therefore it must be destroyed. Ha! <laughs> Saw that a little bit too late. But I dealt with the other teleport beacon, so you're not getting as many as you would have liked. Just another horde creature. Next up. Right down the path here. Hey guys. Repent. I mean, I like that the Imperial Guard, the Traitor Guard's first reaction is to cluster together. <laughs> the pyrokinetic staff appreciates it. Stunned. Not cool. There we go. Nice. Oh, he's still alive. What the hell? Okay. Smash the tyrant. Right way. For the emperor. If you think I'm going to let you turn that thing back on. I'm going to try to kill off the rebel sergeant. I'm going to... Ah, shit. That dude's going to kill me. He does way too damage at that range. Way too much damage for me to shrug off. Murder him. And move along. Move along. Quickly now. You know what? I'm gonna introduce him to this. And let it kill him. That should do the trick, right? <laughs> yes, it murdered him for me. Always nice to have a pet column of fire. Deactivate. The last mortar is down. Try to move against the Imperial Guard now, Rebels. <laughs> the Rebels won't be able to launch artillery fire for a while. For a while, unless I blew the shit up, which, you know, probably would have been a better idea, frankly. Hey, lady. This is an Adeptus Mechanicus quarantine zone, Inquisitor. You Change must your tone. Leave. You should have told me that before I came in to rescue you. If that was an attempt at sarcasm, you're wasting your time. Rest assured, the Conclave will be notified of your support. <laughs> I've been looking for you for a while. I need your expertise. I'm a high-ranking geneticist of the Machine God. My extraordinary skill set is undoubtedly best employed here. I it's have an Adeptus boy. Astartes with grievous injuries on my ship. And I need him walking and talking. How often do you have the opportunity to work on one of the angels made flesh? This new information requires me to reconsider. I will <laughs> accompany you, Inquisitor. She wants a space marine guinea pig. Is what I took from that. And away we go. else loot loot and more loot well-rounded kill 1,000 enemies with non-force weapons didn't realize I did that kill a thousand enemies with psyker spells we did indeed get a lot of <laughs> a lot of perks <laughs> storm knight and this is how we get primaris marines <laughs> claim Give me all the extra loot. Okay. 
So with this, though, I am actually out of time for tonight. So thank you, everybody, for stopping by the stream. And now that I've got Inquisitor Martyr working, uh, you guys should be seeing regular Inquisitor Martyr streams mixed in with Conan Exiles. And yes, I have not forgotten about um, our Total War Warhammer 2 Chaos campaign that we are going to finish. Uh, but yeah, for now, though, I am out a lot of time. So good night, everybody. And I will see you on the next stream.